Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm continuing my first Terraria playthrough. If you like the video, consider subscribing and join the community on Twitch and Discord. Links to both of those are down below. So this was streamed on April Fool's Day, which um, probably becomes pretty obvious when my chat tricked me into putting a lock on my chest. I don't know why I believed him, but oh well. And so naturally I had to go to the dungeons until I could get a couple keys. But at the end of the day, no harm, no foul. So it was pretty funny, honestly. And so, after that, I decided to get a better fishing rod. So we finally got the Fisher of Souls, which is a big upgrade. And I also managed to catch myself some bait, which is pretty great. After that, we went and talked to the angler. And today, the goal is to catch a bunny fish. Unfortunately, while fishing, I wasn't able to get a single bunny fish. I was, however, able to catch a pretty special item a Joja Cola, which is honestly really cool. I'd heard that there was some crossover between Stardew and Terraria, and it's exciting to see. And so my chat told me to take it to this girl over here, and when I grabbed it, I drank it, which really sucks. <laughs> but oh well, I'm sure we'll get another one. After that, I put up a couple torches so that hopefully we'd attract more fireflies. And pretty much every night that I had nothing else to do, I would just go around catching fireflies. My chat also told me that there'd be a really fun cutscene if I put up 100 candles. Yeah, I should really have been more wise than that. But, oh well, I didn't actually think it would do anything until it killed me. So, yeah, that kind of snuck up on me. After that, we went back up to the angler to find his new quest, and he's now requesting a spider fish. So, while trying to go down there, I accidentally triggered the trap again, which is just fantastic. And then I went in there and made sure that I'd never fall for that trap again. So, who actually won? Also after this encounter, I picked up the yo-yo glove and an extra yo-yo, because I thought that's how that worked, which was a great waste of 20 gold. But let me know in the comments if the yo-yo glove is actually good. After that, finally got down to my fishing spot and caught a lot of new stuff but not a single spider fish. Pretty soon after that, I was just sitting in my base during a solar eclipse when we got a message that this was going to be a terrible night. So naturally, I decided to head out towards my base. This fight was a whole lot closer, and there's stuff that I definitely learned during it, which will come up later, but for now I died, so oh well. After that, I flattened out some area for the goblin event. And while doing that, a nice sandstorm struck, so just had a bit of fun killing enemies during that. And so after that, and after getting a gem, I summoned the Old Ones Army. I figured this would be the old crowd that I'd fought last time, but it turns out they were much different. So in the middle of my third wave, I did end up dying, which kinda sucks. And to be honest, that's probably the last time for a while that I'll be trying to take down this army. But after that, I decided to expand my arena as much as I could. And then I set up for the twins, making sure to put the clouds much higher this time. And while I was going to summon them, it just happened naturally. So here we go. This fight went a whole lot different because what I did was just run around it and kind of treat the arena more as like an oval to go up over and then down and around and this worked out a whole lot better especially since this time i didn't stick to the arena if i had to flee the scene i would leave the arena entirely and so after quite a difficult fight i actually managed to take it down so we're finally done with the twins now that i'd beat that one i was able to craft the true knight's edge and a drex which means no more pickaxe and axe and in practice, both of these things are pretty sick. The True Knight's Edge has, like, beams, which is insane. And the Drax, which is actually insane, because it can just chop through stuff super easily. And I tested that out by mining Chlorophyte. But while I was doing that, I found this little pink flower thing, and I cut that down and then immediately regretted it, because we now had Plantera on our hands, which really sucked because I had no open areas, just these small, two wide channels that were not great for fighting a boss. So unfortunately, my strategy just consisted of hitting it in the big open areas 
and then running down the channel to give myself some new space in a new area. And of course, running away to try and stay alive. And for a first attempt, I mean, I was able to stay in there for quite a while. It was pretty much at a third health, so that's not bad. But I definitely need to prepare for next time. After that, I took a Spelunker potion so that I'd be able to go down and actually see the ores, which just meant that I was able to mine Chlorophyte a whole lot faster. And so I made myself some turtle armor, which I just gotta say, it looks a little derpy, but I kinda like it. And yeah, that's all for this time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you have a fantastic day.